Elisa, please, the floor is yours. Thank you, Massimo. Hi, Elisa. Hello, I'm Andrea. Hi. Nice meeting you. Me too. Okay, now the, your turn. Visa Amlami is the right pronunciation? Yeah, Alami. Alami. Is the head of Alami Architects, a Dubai based architect studio. They provide service in architecture, interior design, and urban design. They are passionate about creating contemporary architectural design. Your speech is start. Vito, we need to. È possibile far rimandare? Hi everybody. So we are going to speak about uh, designing in harmony with the envir environment. Uh, we're gonna walk you through two of our. You call it very close. Uh, we're gonna walk you through two of our experiences actually in this aspect. And uh, all of our, our like uh, process as Lamy architect, uh, our projects was always trying to be in harmony with nature, with the environment. Um, maybe through the aspect of design, not the materials. Um, so this is a brief of our ongoing projects. So I'll work you about in a project called Tula, Clinical Wellness. It's based in Kerala in India. Um, the whole site over here is a very sustainable uh, community here. Um, India has a monsoon season, which is six months all, all over the year. So it's a very heavy rain. The client has decided to dig an aquifers here to collect water and collected for the farmers in the in the community. Also, all our buildings here has uh, solar panels uh, all over to to run, um, let's say, equalize the energy. We are collecting water from all over the roofs in a in a um, a lake to to use it to reuse it for irrigation. Uh, all the project is uh, radiant cooling to reduce, to control the, the use of uh, climate control. Um, but the other aspect we, which we want to speak about is more of how we are in harmony with the environment here. Um, the story has started when we met these two trees uh, and we, we've seen that these two trees has witnessed the development of, of the site all over the years the long years. So we said these trees must stay here and we tried to protect it in all aspects, like pushing all the structure engineers and all the challenge, you know, like the, the supports of the building and we, we tailored the whole concept around that, th these trees over here. The, the site also got uh, topography, I mean, the view which you saw in the beginning of the presentation is a, is a topography and the, the mountains are over where it inspires our design curve. So our buildings overall, they are low key. They are trying to be um, not competing with the environment basically as a height. They're low, they are integrated with the nature working around the, like the, this tree, for example, which we, we, we see here. Um, these are like visuals, but what you will see next is, uh, is the real execution where we really can deliver big spaces to, to protect uh, these two trees over here. Um, this is a few corners from that. The, to do the in-out experiences as well all over the project. So wherever you are in, you can see outside, you're in and out, you have courtyards. Uh, the building basically talks to the nature around it, being as a low key, but also transparent. Uh, with these beautiful views allow us to do this. Now, jumping to the 
another building in the, in the development, this is the gate building, which we call it. So it's the arrival. One, you're arriving in a low uh, level, which is um, like 20 meters below the, the site. Um, the top building is integrated within the nature. Once you arrive up also, you are in a very low key building that doesn't try to compete in the height with the nature around it. And another feature which is by exploring this site, you're wandering around, you discover around, and then suddenly you see this dome, which is, uh, we call it the sonorium. We did, uh, we did it in collaboration with a sound healing therapist from uh, Oroville, from India, where uh, we designed the dome to be acoustically um, insulated to allow these waves to reflect, uh, to do sound healing, with also beds that designed with uh, electric and uh, with electric uh, instruments to, to do this vibrating effect while doing the sound healing. So, so this is the, like how we crafted that dome, that Tula project. Uh, we have another project where uh, it is in Dubai, in the mountain side of Dubai. Also, uh, what you see here is two of them. There is a third one which is in a farm. But by exploring that site, which you see here in white, what we did is we visited the site, we inspected every single corner in there. Um, also, we did a drone footage to scan all the site. Uh, like we photographed 270 photos to, to really map all the site all around. And then discovering the strength of, of these nodes that we, we can design around them. So we discovered a few corners that really has to uh, be a focal point. Other points where we said these are non-touched, so we have to go and fly our building around. Also collaborating with the right uh, landscape architect, we were able to use a very sustainable um, plants, species that don't consume much of water. Um, and then we, we designed this building to, to go up and fly, basically with a support, like a rhythm of support, and then hug that, uh, that mountain. So we call it like hugging the mountain, this one. And creating this challenging also experience which, which while you're walking there, uh, you can see through, you see the landscape below you. Uh, while walking, you explore the land around you. While sitting inside the rooms, you are also at a distance from a mountain where you see also the, the mountain beside you. The earlier photo where you, show, you saw the uh, mountain here, what we did is an outdoor um, public or common space that everybody is, is gathering around it. The other part of the site, which is consists of the farm, uh, the owner is he by himself really like uh, growing trees and growing the, the farm by himself. So. What we did, we took uh, the beginning of that site and then we developed this unit, the third unit, um, to be overlooking all of this greenery than the mountain with these adaptable um, like doors where you, you can close it for privacy, you open it, but then you can get your own atmosphere. If you open it, then you open to this uh, view, fantastic view. Um, very fast, we'll show you like a Ra mansion where uh, we collaborated with a developer from North America that wanted to do a mansion, uh, an escape mansion in uh, Puerto Rico, uh, where again a 4,000 square meter land here. We're creating their, I mean, at the arrival, if you see on the top, right, top left, uh, we try to embed the, the architecture within the nature. So to make it look low key, then you arrive there. You have that carved piece on the right where it allows you to look up. Then we created a, a forest kind of around it to create your own environment as uh, your own escape, basically, and a holiday home. And most of our projects, this is a brief you know, look of how we always try to make the, the nature as eccentric, even if with such a challenging weather 
here in UAE, uh, we always try to push this boundary, which uh, we know that in-out experience is a must-have uh, for every human being. That's the norm, which we are not uh, created to live in a boxes enclosed from nature. So, uh, and by that, I would thank you for listening. Thank you, Fazami. Your projects are really interesting. Thank you for participation at the AD Social Network 2023, and good luck for the future. Thank you so much.